Mm -hmm. So what was it like building the, well, mobilizing members and building the team? It was, let me see it, amazing. The majority of our sessions at the time started online. A lot of the work we do is online, training online. And automatically, we, the club has mentors. So mentors like mm. Ricardo Kings Douglas and Janice Martin. These are two mentors of the club. There's other mentors as well. So I'm not a professional. I'm still a student in the arts. But based on my pieces and work, the team is to channel those pieces and work along with those persons to get this work done. So in doing this, I'm, I'm being shaped and mold into the arts. Now, remember the foundation of acting school and also the learning, literature and psychology in helped me to be in this position that I am today. And right. other than online, we have right. physical to do training and various training and stuff. Okay, right. Who are the members, the, the, the executive members of Team Lyrical Inc? And uh, what, what qualities uh, does each member bring to the fore? The members of the executive members are myself, Fongdan Director. I have assistant director with me, Aquinas Modes. Assistant director, also secretary, slash stage manager, have Crystal Williams. She's a PRO of the club actress. Alia George. Mm -hmm. She's a treasurer. And we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. So we were talking about the executive members, right? Yes, and we were. And the qualities um, each member brings uh, to the team. Mm -hmm. What I can say, like I was saying before, I, I mentioned Aquinas. Every team member, they bring something unique to offer. Right. Something very unique. The PRO, she's open, she's ready. Whatever we have to do. And she's, she's an actress, a bodacious actor, eh? Bodacious. Mm -hmm. Right? How we met and when we started talking and we spoke about Team America Link and how the club is about targeting social, societal issues. Right. Boom. She wants to be a part of that. Alia, very expressive. I mean, you know, critical and expressive. And she has a fire. She has got, I mean, the whole team, they just, you know, God, he's always ready and he's willing. Anything you want to know, ask God. Is either he know or research or something. And he's very handy. Very, very handy. Mm. So just yes. the team and how we move and operate. Everybody has been doing the work. I can't okay. ask for a better executive. I can't. Well, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. If you're just tuning in, you're watching Ken Rivergee's Live Evening Edition. This is Grenada, brought to you in association with Viking Engineering Company, Grenada Limited. They are heat, ventilation, air condition, and refrigeration engineers and contractors. They're located at Grandin's Valley, St. George. Call 444-4934. Also, Karaku Building Supplies. Yes, Karaku Building Supplies, located in Harveyville, Karaku. You can find quality aggregates. You're talking sand, cement, and gravel. Yeah, 4437015. My guest is Alistair Matter. He's the founder and director of Team Lyrical Inc. And we're having a conversation relative to Team Lyrical Inc. this time around. So, what projects have you worked on as a team. Currently, we 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 in pre-production 
of a major short film which we were working on last August. Right? This short film we shoot in GBSS the third week of August. And actually, remember the idea I told you I started Tam CC with? That's the yes. idea. I don't give up. I don't give up. I'm very determined. Like I said, can I, if I go into the moon, can I continue where we, we, we just picking back up, right? We just, so in Tam CC, other than starting the production, the product, remember the production, the club. I thinking do a production, but do a production so different that when it finish history, and this is a spoiler a lot, eh? Hello. Mm -hmm. So the name and the content won't even divulge with the public. Those who know is blown away already. And yes, we cooking up a trailer and hopefully next year we will release that short film. Ah, okay. Great. That short film had, had presented a lot of challenges, a lot of obstacles, you know, but we overcame everyone. Mm. That's fantastic. Moment. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. I'd like to hear that, Alistair. You're making ground. You're making ground. So, which leads me to ask you um, Has your team any interest in the, let's say, production of radio dramas? That will happen in not the near future but most likely two years three years down the road mm. but that is one of our long-term goals you see we are team lyrical inc our philosophy and motto at team lyrical inc is dealing with reality being authentic and mm, motivated like action let me repeat that. Dealing with reality, being authentic, motivating with action. Now note, many of us can get a grip on reality. Right. We will understand what is reality because we, we, we cultured and socialized in a way to believe a fantasy because even as a child, we grew up knowing a lot of lies, yeah? And then when we see what the world is really, what the world is really, what the world is, you know, certain things are not being taught in schools, in colleges, universities. Now everything is being taught. Yeah. So, deal with reality. How can I, as an artist, deal with reality? And, 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 let me, and let me tell you this to build on the point I made earlier, I alluded to. The creative arts taught me how to deal with reality. Because in that, I found not only self, I found purpose and a complete vision for my life. Right? Being authentic. The, the, the production we're doing, the club, we're all about creating our own work and getting our own ideas out there. So you may not see us be doing Romeo or Juliet or Cymbeline, Fences, so to speak. And I'm not against those productions, but we're not cliche. Team Lyrical. Mm. Innovation. Mm -hmm is a major tool we use at Team Lyrical Inc. Innovation. Innovation. Mm. Okay. Innovation. The club runs on what I call the pillars of theater. 
the six E's. Entertain. I hope I ain't giving my viewers too much tonight, eh? Entertain, educate, enlighten, express, expose, and empower. Hope you guys got that. Okay. Right. Entertain, right. educate, mm -hmm. enlighten, express, expose, and empower. Wow, that that's some... Um, that's what we are about um, at Team America Link. That's a mouthful. Wow, you're doing a lot, man. That's a mouthful. Um, so to what extent has Team Lyrical Inc. been collaborating in drama? We have not done much collab like out there for the public to see, but mm. we have a network and persons willing to work with us. We were a part of the ad, the census ad. Right. You guys will see that yes. when time census ad and with the mentors of the club helping us to be out there as well the training from ricardo king's douglas miss martin assisting you know miss david benoit also is assisting us he's a me the, the producer for the production that we shoot last august so little by little we're getting there okay Good to know, good to know. Alistair, what are the requirements for becoming a member of Team Miracle? Someone looking at this broadcast perhaps is interested in becoming a member or perhaps knows someone who may be interested. To become a member of Team Miracle Link, you must meet, you must attend two to three meetings with sign up fee registration fee of five or more dollars five to ten dollars or more based on you want to give right and within that two to three meetings you will learn you will be educated on what the club is about or philosophy rules and regulations mm -hmm. what the club is about and right. also your area of interest if you like acting writing so to speak, because we we do things a bit different in Team America Link. We don't only, yes, we have performers, but we also have writers in the club as well. Mm, okay. That's so, a nice So mix, we write of our own work. Right. How active are you in, in I know you're the founder and director, but are you uh, um, actively involved in writing, um, in in that sort of dung and you know acting and all of that or are you just specifically into management of the club i won't just say the management of the club the 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 entire executives are actors so we're oh, not just okay. we we do every right now we do everything so yes i manage yes i direct but i also act so the productions that I'm, we're doing now as a club is basically my ideas. But mm. down the road, we have a time that the, the network of writers would be creating work and getting their work out there. But seeing that the club is just started, that one or two of my pieces and productions are being done now. But the actors are being used and I have writers assisting me at the time. Mm, yes, okay. I'm new. To, right. Yes, I'm new. I'm still a student of the arts. So there's a lot to learn. I have not arrived. I have a long way to go. So that's why we have mentors. And even in writing and preparing work, Mr. David Ambrose also assists and helps the club as well and writing and so on. He was also involved in the production. David Ambrose as David Ambrose, the author, the writer. Okay. Okay. Mm, nice. I like. I like the fact that you you have some very so, interesting people in your network. I call. Yes, I do. I call myself a professional in the sense of the way I carry myself and do business, but I'm not a professional as an expert. And I like this 
because I'm still in the process of becoming. Mm. Life is about evolving. And you must sure. adapt to evolve. That's what we have to get as Grenadians. We need to learn how to adapt and evolve. Adapting is a part of evolving. Right? Yeah. So I haven't arrived. I'm still learning. And next year, God's will, the goal is to study abroad. Hopefully. Okay. Study the arts abroad. But when I get out there, I just want to say, I'm from Greenwich. I could do this, I could do that. There should be a trail. One of my quotes of philosophies are, why wait when you can create? Why wait and say, I go in Hollywood? No, Hollywood had to come to me. Hello. Hello. Why wait? Why wait when we can create? Well, I like that the thinking. That was my driving factor of force behind yes. me. I like the thinking because, you know, it's something I also say, create your own reality. So, I, I, yeah, absolutely. Life is what you make it. We're mm -hmm. living and you, there must be something different. Listen, I get in this thought that we're the same. We're not the same. No, we're not the same. And I could debate this point. We, as human beings, are not the same. We are equals. Yes, we are equals. We relate. We may be similar, but we're not the same. We're different. Mm. Mm. And when we get this revelation, and whoever get this revelation in life will be transformed. You're not your father, you're not your mother, you're not your auntie, you're not your niece, you're not your nene, you're not your friend, you're not your neighbor. You're not even your idol. We're different. We're not the same. And we could get scientific and social at the same time. And prove we're not the same. We're wired different. We think different. We behave different. Different environment. So how are we the same? We're similar. We relate. And in getting this, I said, hey, so if I'm different, I'm going to convey my individualism. I'm here on my purpose and destiny. So I'm going to create because I'm different. I can perform or do pieces like Ricardo Kim Soglas or Uriah Peters or Frenchie or, or Mr. Killer or Mandela Links, Nyla Eating and the others. No, I'm a lister. So a lister has something different and new to bring to the table because I'm different. We may be similar. We may relate. We are equals, yes, because we have opportunities, the same opportunities and so on and so forth. Right. Some may say no, because even with equality, you have to talk equity. But the point is, by law, we are equals. But we're not the same. We're not. We don't like the same thing. We don't want the same thing. We, come on. Yes, we may have values and beliefs and practices. We have that common understanding too. But we're not the same. Wow, deep. Deep, so deep, Alistair. You're dropping the gems this time around on the live. What has been the feedback from members of the public on Team Lyrical Inc.? So far, I'm overwhelmed. Can I? The pro during the production, shooting the production, listen, the amount of challenges and stress I've experienced in the beginning of the club, before the club, and even the production, some of it I won't divulge. I won't divulge, you know, there's a time for that. Sometime in the future, um, we, 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 we will talk challenges, but not okay. now. Remember, we spoke outside of this sphere already, right? 
But what I'm saying is, during the production, the love I felt on the grounds in GBSS, the love we felt, people giving and people learn. Even when people hear what we're doing now, a lot of my friends and people I don't know come up to me and it's like, I see you on television regarding some acting thing and I keep up doing what I do. The love is so real. Mm -hmm. The love is so real. It's humbling. Four, five, six years ago, ten years ago, if anybody come and say, Alistair, you would be in this position, etc., etc. I would say a lie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. But here you are. Here yeah, right. you are. Yes, yeah, right. yes, indeed. You know, you know, we in the COVID nineteen pandemic, and you know, I just have to ask you. So, as as a team, how have you been functioning during the pandemic? Because you know, a lot of things now are online. People are not meeting as before. Things have changed. The new normal is kicking in, whether we want it, whether we don't. It's the reality. Things are changing. The way the world functions, all of that changing. How has the team been operating, been functioning in the time? operating virtually. Everything is online now. Mm. Eating. Everything. Like I said, the beginning was also online. So, right. I mean, just to get things done on the ground, I mean, everything online. And, and, and that's what innovative is all about especially as as a younger generation we we shouldn't be you know based mm -hmm. on how we're wired and thinking we right. should see all the things being online okay so that hasn't affected your coming together as a unit you're still getting things done 75 percent no 25 percent yes Listen, not forgetting Neela Etienne. Yes, I did mention. Yes, she her. has her own. The ads make them candidate. Yeah. I feel it's a creative ad state. Mm hmm wow. Yeah. Because back then, I were not candid, but now it's like, I don't think since I speak my mind, I speak my mind, take it or leave it. Right. But going back to... Going back to the question. Right. Now, somebody once said, somebody once said, the problem is never with the seed or the tree. Wow. Share this slide, folks. Share this slide. Call it Nenen, call it Auntie, call everybody. Share up the life. Tell somebody about this. Yes. Now, Alena Foundation here, yeah? the problem is not with the seed or the tree. The problem is the environment. Because that tree was planted within that environment. So it's feeding off of the, the resources of the environment. Hello. So the issue is not with the artist or drama. The issue is the environment. The environment, how has it been the status quo? How has it been? It's not, let me find the right word, prudent, it's not cultivated for the creative arts. Now, I'm about to take this deeper, so I hope you're ready to dive. As a young man, as a young man, when I look at television, when I look at the region, when I look to see the rate of development that 
that is going on in countries, third world countries, the majority of the world in the arts and what the art is doing to the country, that so those societies, it's amazing. The creative arts is a gold mine. Kenroy, when I started 16, when I started 17 and 8, and the, the bashing I took, if were others, they would have given up. A lot of people call me stubborn. I'm not stubborn. I'm determined because I know what I want. Hello. When you understand the power of the arts and how it's not valued here. Look, do you know the copyright act? We have a copyright act in Greenland, but it's not enacted. The, 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 the system has set up tourism, 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 tourism. What about the arts? When you say the what? relative to the copyright act, um, Alice, just, uh, just for some clarity, you. Do you mean it's not enforced? It's there, but it's not enforced. It's not enforced. It's, it's, okay. listen, only up in the air, I did some research. And somebody in the last two to three weeks confirmed to me, it's not enforced. It's, it's there. And it burns me to see the amount of great, films and productions out there and Grenada, the quality of the history the history we have but because let's go back to the environment mm -hmm. so the problem is not soca calypso the problem is not the seed or the tree or the fruit of the seed and of the tree sorry but the issue is the environment jamaica gone in the arts trinidad barbados gone and if you do your research there's a lot of funding that's available to develop countries within the art form unesco is one do your research and the way the arts are done played in Grenada by the system. By the system, it burned my heart late August to see what transpired when Steven Seagal came in Grenada. It burned me. Grenada, we are Grenadians, we have to wake up. We have to wake up because if we continue to lie down and sleep, those hold on, hold on. Let me let me make a point, Ken Robertis. Let me make a point. Those that are listening, I want you guys to listen to me very good tonight. Very good. Story time. Now I'm a comfort zone. Story time. 